What up, world? It's your girl, J. Jewels, and I got moms with me again. Happy Friday. So, y'all already know, Friday is pretty much release day for all the digital platforms. With that being said, um, I did a reaction to Christina Aguilera's last song. Um, I forgot what it's called. I didn't really like the song. It was not a good fit for her sound. It sounded like a failed attempt, in my opinion. Um, but I love Christina Aguilera, because you remember how much I used to play her stripped album, right? Christina Aguilera. Mm -hmm. Man, like, I used to bump that in your car when I was young. This is when I was in high school. So, for me, I'm looking at this like, I'm going to get a chance to kind of, like, you know, fall in love with Christina Aguilera all over again. So, that was last week when I heard, or the week before when I heard the last song. And um, she dropped another one. So, you down? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How you feel about Christina Aguilera doing music right now? Where did she come from? <laughs> Fuck. So, you kind of cool? I mean, she all she got some pipes on her, so definitely can sing. She could definitely come in there like a black girl, low key. Sneak, sneak, yeah. yeah sneak on, like on a cool, huh? Yeah, but that's okay. I like her. She could do that. Okay, so you cool with her making another song? Mm -hmm. She, she all got right. that. The song is called Twice. Let's get into it. Sometimes I wonder what it's like. All right, I'm going to pause it. Already, this sounds 10 times different than what I've heard from the last song. The last song was like a pop slash But see, she can song. do that. But the last song wasn't good, though. It sounded like forced. But this, to me, it's I don't know where style. it's going. Because she's singing in the beginning. I don't know where the beat's going to go. They might give us a whole weird twist that we don't expect. But I already like this more than I liked her last release. It was featuring Ty Dolla Sign and um, somebody else. That's the Ty, Ty Dolla Sign. I like him. It'll grow on you. No, no, no. The you one with Christina Aguilera. You don't think that's gonna grow on? I'm gonna you? play it for you. You gonna see? But okay. no. Okay. All right. So let's get back in because we don't know what the hell's about to happen. But I'm excited. I already like it. I like the Braxton song. I like Destiny's Child a long time ago. Yeah. But she gonna blow it. Sound like an Eminem type song. She could do whatever. Alright, fast forward. It's a ballad. You ain't gonna like it. You hate this kind of stuff. Alright. Where's the one? So it's turned into a ballad. It seems like it's a ballad. It's yeah, gonna be a slow one. I, I mean, know you hate these kinds uh, of songs. I'm sorry. I didn't know that was gonna happen. That's okay, but, but that's I think just it's just showing off her talent. So you okay with this so far? Not really. You don't want to hear it, but you respect it. I because it's Christine Aguilar and okay. it's showing off her gifts. So I'm gonna fast forward because I have a feeling that they're gonna like kind of. I feel like they're bringing us down to bring, to bring us, us right back up. Well, I'm hoping because they're trying so. to grab our emotions. Because right now I'm down. Yeah, because we. Thing is, we're not really listening to the song like that. We kind of just trying to get a feel for how the record feels. But I'm sure if we were listening to the story of what she was saying, it was like something that would touch you emotionally. Like that's for to... somebody that's kind of going through some depression. Yeah, or it's like some movies type stuff, right? It sounds like it could be like in a movie. Maybe a movie. <laughs> Sometimes a movie I wonder soundtrack, what's the meaning of for like, sure. Yeah, she, so she's talking about de depression. That's what I said, huh? She, you think she's going through it? Sounds like it in that part of the song. Hmm. I wonder she's epic. I it all again and twice. Stop it. So it's like a no regret kind of song. She's epic. That girl has a night. She has a, she's going to all, she's another one that's going to be around for life because she has a unique sound. Well, okay. Remember what me and Diesel said, when the artists that stick around for 15 to 20 years, forever artists, they got to reinvent themselves and do stuff like that. Right. Remember we said through their music, they got to do that to remain relevant. Mm -hmm. She also took that aspect that he said, where they go into other ventures of business. Now she's hosting on the shows. You know what I mean? Like she's exploring to where she's never going to go away. Mm -hmm, possibly. She's going to kind of come like a, a Cindy Lauper type. Okay. That's how um that's how Christy she's the young Cindy Lauper of my time. 
Mm-hmm. How y'all feel? We got the older generation tuned in. How y'all feel about that statement? Is right. that accurate? Yes, that's co- absolutely correct. She's okay. gonna come like a Cindy Lauper. A Cindy Lauper. Okay. Christine Aguilera. She's gonna have that. So that's title. what you envision it for the long term of her career. Yes, like a, she's gonna be like a Cindy Lauper type. And I'm Cindy gonna go La- with you on that one. I like Cindy Lauper to come back right now and she can make a You're hit. Selling me. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. I know music. So let's get back into it. For sure. Can I say something? You know who she also Ooh, rem- that was that strip note. Ooh, Let me tell you who she almost whining. low key remind me of. Another great, great talent is Pink. Pink is they're similar. They came out around the same time. They both had I strong know, but voices. That Pink, she is another one that has an extraordinary sound. She will be going down in the history books too. Do you think Pink will, will be forever? Oh yes, like like Christina. She's Aguilera. gonna be like a damn Rod Stewart, her or somebody like that. Yeah, okay. she's another. Yeah, oh for sure. All right, let's get back into it because I just heard her about to hit a note that I'm very familiar with. I know, but them two album. are just two. They are classic chicks that's gonna be in the game. They making it. All right, they can go away for five years and come back and they are gonna make a night like. And Eminem. they kind of have before already. That's like an Eminem. They're like an Eminem type. Those three people: Eminem, Pink, and and Christina. They're legends. Yeah, no facts. Game. Big facts. Big facts. Yeah. All right. She about to hit this note. That's that beautiful. We are beautiful. Hmm. She making chills. She gives you chills for sure. Hmm. You gotta clear that sound. Oh, that girl. I like it. I don't even have to hear no more. Right, it's done. It's good. It is good for what it is good for. Okay. It's a ballad on a scale of one to ten. How you rate it? Girl, it's kinda up there. I don't give a shit that she's going in and out with a depression, but the music is so crystal clear. I'm gonna give it an eight. Girl, I'm going a little bit higher than you because I think it's a nine. Okay. I, I really can't give do. it a ten. Just because I feel like this is the second song she's released to re come out. Like she hasn't been out for a while, so now she's coming but out see, again. I get that, but that girl if she would have came with this song first, I probably would have gave this a nine or a ten. This is it's just great. that last song kind of threw me, man. Like, it's good. Well, I know, but see, that just lets you know that she's versatile. Mm, okay. She can go in and out. She can do whatever. I agree. Okay, so uh, y'all hear our thoughts. What y'all think? Get in the comments. Subscribe. Hit the like button. It's your girl, J Jewels. Mom. We out of here, snitches. Mm. Happy Friday! Thank you, thank you.